Okay, we'll start with the Mustard S71 SMP, size 4. This is the Crazy Charlie, probably the most famous bonefish fly. What we need first is just a small foundation to accommodate the eyes. Get rid of that. This wants to be about a third of the way up the hook shank. We take some bead chain eyes, fasten it just with a couple of turns like that. I'll turn that around so you can see better. And then what we want is a cross turn, tightening as you go, double cross, and then a figure of eight, keeping everything nice and tight. and then under each eye but on top of the hook shank. This will tighten up all the turns of thread and then we go back to about there and we need some tinsel. This is UTC Mirage. Just place this at the side of the hook shank like so and we'll just tack this in about there and we need some magic glass v-rib you can use any color you like we want the end of the rib just to go in between the eyes so you get an even body when you wrap it afterwards we'll just attach that and keep it on top of the hook shank there we are just go in front Take our tinsel. This just gives a nice shine through the magic rib, the glass ma um, magic glass rib. And go up here, and then we just come back. And I'll tie that off there. Give that little bit of a stretch. There we go. And we take our rib and go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be enough. Uh, and then we'll wrap our rib in nice touching turns. All the way down there we are take that over the eye take this forward oops swap that over Tighten that up, lock it down, go forward, and then we'll trim that off just at an angle on the under or on the other side from where we are now of the hook. There we are, three strands of crystal flash. We we'll just take these up under the tying thread like that. Cut the turns just to secure them. Then we fold everything back and we go back like this and go forward again and we can trim these off about there. They should cover the hook point and bend. Take a bunch of calf tail. Uh, you can stack this if you want, but I like to leave it uneven so you get that kind of pear shape. This should be a little longer than the crystal flash, but still again cover the hook bend and point. So we just measure that. There we go. Two and a half 
trim that off there and what we do to make this much more durable we take a drop of varnish and we just put it on the cut ends there then we place our tying thread, we go back with our tying thread towards the eyes place this on the side of the hook we go over and tighten up and go forward right behind the hook eye we build up and then go back it's looking good give that a whip finish and one more you want to make these flies as durable as possible Trim that off. Give the head a coat of varnish. Just a drop of varnish. And there we are, that's the Crazy Charlie. And as usual, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.